I've been playing the saxophone for 60 years, and I don't know how to fix a note, so you know how much I love and need it. And I just started playing the saxophone and never learned how to fix anything. It's even difficult for me to put on a saxophone read. This gentleman, Brett, is leaving our city. The reason, one of the reasons we're leaving is because of the taxes in Philadelphia and the structure. And the other is uh, health care costs. It's killing us right now. And the supply costs have tripled from Con Selmer. Steinway now has taken over Con Selmer and LeBlanc Corporation. And um, we can't, you know, I'm making a living off of jazz musicians that can't afford to pay their own health insurance. Yes. And, uh, until their lifestyle increases, I, I'm kind of stuck in a nonprofit kind of <laughs> sector at the moment, which is, um, yeah, it's, I'm not a good businessman, I guess, that way. I think Philadelphia is a great city, though, too, and it needs to stop living in the shadow of New York. Um, we have an inferiority complex, and we don't seem to have the energy to get past you know to believe in ourselves and uh, I think once Philadelphia can do that and they can change their government and make it more business friendly I think it's this could be a it is a great place and I think that it could be a great place to do business and Philadelphia is a hotbed of history of musical instruments the first clarinet in the United States was made in Philadelphia uh, Philadelphia also was the hotbed for brass manufacturing. All down on Arch and Race Street, we had um, Leonard and Seafelt and um, Seltman. Uh, you know, Diston was here. He's buried right down the street from Coltrane's house. There, there's a deep history in the city that no one knows about, and I'm hoping to eventually write a book about that. What city are you going to in um, Australia? I'm going to Adelaide. Adelaide, South Australia. It's the capital of South Australia, and uh, it's right on the ocean. But it's a very, it's a pretty vibrant city. There's a million people. Adelaide has a kind of a, it also lives in the shadow of Melbourne, a little like we do with New York, and uh, so it's kind of an interesting similarity. They have a good orchestra, and they have a good music school. We went to a couple of their jazz concerts while I was down there. Branford Marcellus was just there and we're going to see what we can do about getting Odin down and uh, with the contacts we have here trying to um, get some decent master classes going.